My one word to describe the opener this year, I think is um, energizing. There's a lot of energy that is going into it and hopefully everybody feels that. Waiting all day for Sunday night. I think every year we definitely try to raise the bar and be bigger and better than we were the year prior. This year's backdrop is the Resorts World in Las Vegas where the country superstar also has her ongoing residency reflection. You know, I grew up watching Sunday Night Football and um, I love football in general, so it's so much fun to kind of play a small part in it and hopefully get everybody pumped up for, um, for the game. Um, but this is our 11th year, so I feel like the challenge at this point is just figuring out how to make everything look different, feel different, make the wardrobe look different. I feel like we've done every color, we've done shorts, we've done dresses and everything in between. So uh, we were just kind of trying to figure out what we could do that would look and feel different and kind of went with this like onesie, one leg, asymmetrical thing creation. It's a lot of fun. Her iconic opening for NBC Sunday Night Football has become a staple for both viewers at home and the players on the field. I have had players um, tell me that they, they love the Sunday Night Football song and it gets them hyped up. I think most recently it was Travis Kelsey. Um, he was at the CMT Awards and he came up and he was like, just thank you for getting me ready for the game. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure, <laughs> anytime. Both music and sports play a big role in the singer's household. She shares two young sons with former hockey player Mike Fisher. We do have two boys. Um, you know, obviously my husband was a professional athlete. I'm a little athletic myself. I feel like they both have athletic ability. I'm not sure if that's what they will choose to do because they both actually have very pleasant singing voices. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see what they choose. They can do both.